Hello, hello everyone, this is Tip Top Gaming here today with another Magic the Gathering Arena video. Now today we're going to be going over the patch notes for the 12, or the 1.1 up game update. So if you guys don't know, the last update brought this game out of beta, and so this is the next update after that. So the highlights of this are the Brawl launch event, the showcase styles are now available, the Festival of the Fae, and the Extra Life. So, first off the Brawl event. So, I'm going to do a whole video just dedicated to this Brawl launch, launch event. But we are going to, we are, uh, I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to the launch event, but just to break it down, it costs a thousand gold, you can play as many times as you want, and if you get five wins, you get five styles. However, I don't know if they really explain this here, in a previous post they said you do get the card style, so... By the way, Sorcerer's Sky, Spyglass is banned in Brawl. Brawl will be available as a play queue every Wednesday, so you won't be able to play it every day, but every Wednesday. And they do this so that way one for uh, that way Brawl doesn't take over Standard, and so Standard still becomes the main uh, format of MTG Arena. Also, you can now direct challenge people any day of the week, and I believe there's a Reddit being set up so that if you want to uh, play Brawl and it's not on a Wednesday, you can't do it for, like, rewards or anything, but you can still do that. Alright, why don't we just go over some of the general changes, because you guys already know what's coming, because you've seen the state of the uh, game, but you haven't seen the general changes, which is sometimes where you can see some interesting things. General. During combat, the system will now auto-pass through to de the declare attackers, declare blockers, and first strike combat damage step if there are no creatures in combat. So, if you swing with everything, they're removed before the damage thing, it won't make you, or before blockers, it won't make you go through those phases. That's just a nice quality of life thing. Unless you're in full control mode, by the way. When a stack of identical creatures with an active ability are blocking, they now fan out so you can select a specific creature from the group, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, adjusted deck size to make it easier to estimate the amount of cards just based on visuals. When there are multiple effects on the stack that lead to token creation, the game will run through this process more quickly. That's great. Um, performance is a big part of this update, so it's very important that, um, or <laughs> performance is a big part of this uh, game update, and so that's a lot of what is in this update. When the, uh, we have reworked the interface for revealed cards. This is like the third time they've done this. There'll be an X in the top right to dismiss the window. Mana in your mana pool will now sort better to display what auto pay will spend. That is amazing. Mana spent is now sorted by color. Badges for Riot and Convoke no longer display on the battlefield. Why? Because those don't matter once they're on the battlefield. Adventures that can produce tokens now displays that the to displays that token when masked over. I'm sorry about that little spinny wheel. MTG Arena is actually updating it in the background now. Okay, Field of the Dead is now banned, so for every Field of the Dead you have, you will get a rare wild card, and that's if you had it before the update, not before the announcement. This is only a one-time grant, so if you decide to spend your wild cards on it later, you won't get wild cards. It's been removed from, uh, Field of the Dead has been removed from ICRs. They've removed it from Core Set 2020 booster packs, unless you already have all other rares, uh, you will still be able to get Field of the Dead in limited. Um, when joining the play queue decks that can field, uh, that contain Field of the Dead will be considered historic because it is not banned in historic. And players who join are participating in standard event or traditional standard event with Field of the Dead in their deck will be allowed to finish the event with their deck as is. However, we are required to update their deck once they finished. And then clarified Risen Reef prompt, it now specifically asks you if you want to put the land card on the battlefield tapped. So it lets you know. Auto tap can now utilize more cards like Gilded Goose. This is amazing. It's really annoying right now that if you want to generate mana with Gilded Goose, you have to manually create it because it makes you sacrifice the food, which you might, you know, not realize. So I think that's kind of dumb. All right, let's get into events. The Brawl launch event is it goes from October 24th, that's today, to November 1st and costs 1,000 gold or 200 gems. Do not spend gems. Within that time, you'll be able to get 1,000 gold. It's a 1v1 brawl, and it's reward up to 5 wins. So you get one copy of the card, and these are all rares, plus their styles. So that's pretty cool. Uh, while rewards can still only be earned once, you can keep playing to get more weekly and daily wins. So for the next couple days, you can get the, you can play brawl every day. Then Festival of the Fae will be... So we now have dates on it. So it'll be November 3rd through the 6th, and it'll cost this entry fee. And these are the banned cards in Artisan, which we already talked about. You guys should check out the, my Artisan format breakdown. But, and then here are the cards that are being rewarded. I again talked about that in my uh, showcase style card breakdown. So you guys should also check that out. Now here's where we get some new 
things, some new information. So here are the extra cards that can appear in the Oko's Madness event. And we do get the list of cards for rewards. So here are the card rewards. We didn't have these before. And then Cascade. We also now know that Cascade is the third and final one, which is nice. And then, of course, we do have the rewards as well. And uh, we do have a nice little nice we have a banned card list which includes things like field of the dead fate wishes deafening silence so all these like lower cost things because cascade can be very powerful so i will do a event uh a event breakdown closer to november 17th when you can actually see the event in the game um and i'll do a breakdown then so you guys can check that out then wednesday brawl every wednesday starting on november 6th but remember you can play the brawl launch event now you can play brawl it's a 1v1 ranked draft they've improved ranked draft picking then they're doing the extra life thing. I also did a video covering this, but you'll be able to buy My Little Pony sleeves and all the money uh, earned this way, besides the fees, like the transaction fees, will go to um, the, the extra life, which will support Children's Hospital in Seattle. Then, uncut eBay sheets. This has nothing to do with MTG Arena, but if you love MTG, you might be interested in that. Um, and then again, these things have nothing to do exactly with that. Um, some of your... Favorite creators might be giving out codes for an inspiring veteran style, but that's about it. Um, so here are the items at being added to the store. The limited time only extra life charity items. These items will be available tw the 28th through the 4th, so that's not much time. All pr proceeds after transaction fees go to benefit Seattle Children's Hospital. And you can get any of these and they cost four dollars per sleeve and these are this one is the only a johnny extra life sleeve that's the only one that's not my little pro, pony themed and they are four dollars a sleeve which when you you're like oh that's a lot of money but then when you really think about it first off it's not for a sleeve and second off uh it's benefiting a, a charity so it's not bad then the showcase bundles i also did a video covering this actually the same thing it's the showcase card bundle but there's a bunch of different uh uh, styles and it's actually possible to get all of the showcase cards which by the way are these things without spending any gems it's possible to get them all through coins and it's not even that tedious it's i think it's about sixteen thousand five hundred coins and it's seventeen thousand five hundred if you want to do the brawl event which i highly recommend it is a thousand coins to join but you're getting five rares which if you estimate that you get one rare per pack that's basically five packs plus you get the styles for them and you can't actually get these through packs and what's also awesome about these cards is since they're meant to be brawl and they're brawl cards you probably only need one of them and it's going to give you that one so that's really awesome the standard 2020 bundle is a uh, one-time deal on 10 boosters from across the current set it, and you get a thousand gems and it costs 10 bucks and so you'll get two boosters from each of the following sets I will probably end up getting this to pay for the Mastery Pass, because you end up making like 2,000 something gems from just completing the Mastery Pass, so it only costs you about 1,000 gems, and so this is a pretty good deal for anyone who's going to do that. Then there's the Brawl Commander card style. So, for a limited time, you'll be able to purchase the Brawl Commander style for gold, and now, I, when cosmetics first came out, I was like, eh, it's just cosmetics, but it actually feels wonderful to play a styled out card. It just feels great. Like I got the mastery pass, even though most of the value comes from cosmetics. So 2000 gold, if I wanted to get all four, which I will not be, uh, that would cost 8,000 gold. Leaving soon are these, uh, bundles. And then no longer available are the wolf pack, golem galore and lifeland bundles. And then they fixed a bunch of issues. Uh, that are here. You guys can read them. Pause the video and read these. But there should. It's basically just a lot more stable. All right, guys. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited for this update. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.